Hey guys, it's Krista with Krista Marie Design, and today I'm going to be doing a product review. Uh, this is the Tim Holtz Glass Media Mat, and I've been trying to get my hands on this for a couple of months. Um, either one, it was out of my price range, and then number two, it just wasn't available in the stores that I buy from. Uh, but I went to a stamping convention in January at the very beginning of this month and was able to pick this sucker up uh, for a great price, and I am just in love with this. So um, I've been playing with it for a couple of weeks, just testing it out, seeing if you know it's worth the hype, and it totally is, and I can't wait to show it to you guys. So it comes in this box, which is really great, um, keeps it from getting broken and stuff. It was a little tough to get it out of the box without breaking the box. I will tell you that. So more than likely, unless you want to keep your box, the only reason I kept it was for this video. Unless you want to keep your box, I would just cut the box to get it out because it was pretty difficult to get it out of the box without tearing it up. Um, I paid $32.99 for mine. Usually at stamp conventions, you can get things just a little bit cheaper than you can when it's in the store or online. So I was able to pick this up for about $5 cheaper than you're going to find uh, regularly. Um, and after this, or once this video posts, I'll give you guys a link to my blog. And this will be in a its own little blog post. And I'll put the link to be able to purchase this on Amazon. Uh, but I do believe it runs somewhere around $36, $38. But like I said, I'll post that. Um, it comes with everything uh, you see here. It comes with the mat or with the glass mat and this little uh, removable cover. I'll show you why that is in here. And then there's a few other accessories that I bought with this. Um, your grid is 14 by 23, which is this right here. Or I'm sorry, 14 by 23. It's 14 tall by 23. And I'm about to show it to you. Don't worry, I'll show it to you outside the box too. But it's 14 tall and 23 wide, so it is a large mat. Um, it has a 12 by 14 grid. So if you do scrapbooking or card making, it's got plenty of space there. It's got a 7.5 by 11 inch mixing palette area, which is this white area right here. And then it's also got a 7.5 by 11 inch removable non-stick mat. We're going to talk more about that as well. But this is, this is everything here, and let's get over to the mat. Now I apologize if it's shiny like you guys are getting my little this little part right here. Um, these are my lights but if I turn off my lights y'all won't be able to see this so I want to be able to uh, show it to you but because it is glass it has a horrible reflection. Um, when I'm crafting and I don't need the reflection I will turn my lights towards a wall or something it'll give me just enough light. But when I'm recording and stuff, I've got to have the light directly on this or you won't be able to see it. So I apologize for that. But these are just the reflections of my light. So your mat comes like this. It's just a, a glass, a piece of glass. It is pretty thick. I hope you guys can see that. It is pretty thick. It's probably, oh, about a quarter inch thick. It's got these little rubber feet on the back to keep it from sliding around on your table, which is really nice. It is very heavy. Once you put this sucker down, you're probably not gonna move it very much. I don't see myself carrying this to um, retreats and stuff just because I'd be afraid of it getting broken. Um, but it is, it is a nice uh, size and it's very heavy. So it's not gonna move around on your, on your surface. If I move my hands like this, it's not moving. So I like that. Um, like I said, this space right here is 14 across and 12 inches tall. So I have plenty of space to be able to map out. Um, one of the things I was disappointed and that I would love to see in the future is if this was also, uh, magnetic. I think that would be really awesome if they just popped a magnet on the back. Um, something pretty strong so your magnets will stick through the glass. Um, but I can understand why they didn't. Uh, this is really meant for for a different purpose. Um, but it would be really nice for me to be able to put a magnet down. Um, I get away with it. or I mean, I, I found a, another solution by just using washi tape to hold my stuff down. So I'm okay with that. 
You have this little surface right here. Like I said, this is seven and a half wide by 11 inches tall. This is like a splat mat. If you guys have like the non-sticky mats like this, um, these came out several years ago, but basically nothing sticks to them. Like this stuff would just peel right off. Um, it's pretty thick paint and it just peels right off. That's exactly what this is. So you get one of those included in this. It's the full surface. So I can put like paint on here. Um, I can, I can do like marker if I wanted to watercolor. Let me get a different marker. If I wanted to watercolor, I could just put some paint on here or marker on here and I could watercolor with that, which I'm going to show you all in a little bit. Um, but anything that comes on here easily cleans off. Um, I haven't noticed that it uh, stains. Other people have said certain mediums will stain it, especially the longer it's on there. So uh, I would suggest that if you are using something pretty strong pigmented um, and you don't want it to stain, go ahead and get it off. But they do sell these in refills. Uh, you could get them for about, I want to say they're like 7 or $8 on Amazon. Again, I'll get you guys the link for that. Um, but they do sell just the mat by itself because... If you didn't want it stained or anything or something happens to it, God forbid you uh, burn it or something. Um, but also, it is sticky on the back. Let me remove my hair. Um, it's sticky on the back. Not so sticky that it'll stick to your hand, but it's sticky enough that it sticks down to this. And so it won't move when you're using it. But it is sticky and it loses its stick over time. I've had mine for several weeks. I've mo removed it and put it back on several times. I've also been told um, if you just wash it very lightly with some clean water, it'll re-stick a little bit. Um, but I haven't tried that yet. So I just have this. But when I'm not using it, I just set it to the side. Sticky side up so that nothing gets on it. And then that reveals your little mixing palette. Now, I love this little grid here. And I'm going to show you why in a little bit. But this is basically just the whole glass extends all the way over here. So this isn't a different texture. It is glass. Um, but it gives you a space to put all your mediums while you have your workspace here, which I love that. I think it's awesome. Uh, these little squares were meant for the Tim Holtz little inchies. I don't have any of those. I found these, I believe, at Joann's. They're by Hampton Art. They, they're amazing. I love them. The only thing is they do sometimes leak. I found that. So keep a paper towel or something by when, when you use these, but for the price, these are pretty amazing. Um, but they're, they're inches. No, you don't take them out and set them like that. That that's not it. But what you do is you take them. And if you have the Tim Holtz ones, they work the same way, but you take them and you just, whoops, you just stamp a little bit of color here. I'm going to do red and orange. So if I have my red and orange like that, then I can use my water brush. Let me get my water brush out. I can use my water brush to, um, to create something. had to get some scratch paper. Okay, so if I have my, my pads over here, I can just take my water brush. I just dip that in some water, or if you have water inside it, that's even better. And I can pick up that color and watercolor with it. Now, this is not watercolor paper, guys. It's just an example to show you guys kind of how this would work. I'm going to pick up some of that red, etc. You could also, if you have watercoloring, um, let's see, like these right here, you could take these and just put a tiny bit in each section. Okay. 
Oh, that one's not even open, guys. <laughs> well, you get the idea. Um, but basically, once I have that, then I can mix them here and come over to my page to be able to do my water coloring. Okay. So that's one of the things I love about this mat is I can keep everything nice and organized right here. And I can uh, work from here because this is glass. I can also use dry erase markers to keep track of everything. So if I'm in the middle of a project and I'm like, oh, I can't remember what colors and, and everything like that. I could take my dry erase marker and I can say, okay, this is Hampton Art Red. This is Hampton Art Orange. Uh, this is Artist Loft Burnt, etc. So that way when I'm working on a project, I could say, oh, I need, I need more of this or I need more of this. I know exactly what product I'm using and I can go and get that. Or if I need to keep myself some notes, I can write that on here and it easily erases. Some accessories that you can get with this that I did get, like I said, you can get extra mats. I also opted for the, um, you know, I don't know what this is called, but it's kind of, it's made of plastic. It is pretty thick. Um, and it's got like these, this little lip up here. Hopefully you guys could see that. Um, but it's made of plastic, but what's great is it hooks on to the top up here and creates a straight edge on both sides for me. So I can get a very nice straight edge with my pencil or something on here by just hooking that on here. I'm going to move this down just a little bit and I can slide it back and forth. This is really great if I have taped a card or a piece of paper, like I'll use washi tape to, to tape this down. If I want to create a border or something, I can tape that down and then I can take this and get my straight edge. Um, I don't cut on this. I don't know if you really should. I wouldn't just because I think that it would cut into it. And this is made of plastic. So you don't want to use a cutting knife next to this because you will cut into this. I think it's more for drawing lines or laying out letters and things like that. So I do have a nice straight edge and you can also take it and turn it this way and get a horizontal straight line. So I did like that. Um, I can also, you know, if I want to block out a section, I could put that here and I know I can paint top and bottom and I have a nice clean section right in the middle. And then with this came the scraper. I believe these two together were $13. Uh, you have this, this is a heavy duty scraper guys. If you have not seen the tonic scrapers, the sucker is heavy duty. It is, it will not bend. It's got like a rubber piece on this side for gripping, but also if you needed to do some scraping, I guess you could, but I wouldn't. Um, I would use the uh, plastic side, but even though it's made of plastic, this sucker is not bending. It is a nice scraper. This is great for, you know, getting things off your glass, getting things off of this side. Um, it's also great for picking up paint and doing some scraping on your on your Bible journaling pages or your cards. Um, this is just, it's a very nice scraper. I bet you could use it. It's a pretty thin part right here. You could probably use it to pick things up off your um, die cutting mats. So that was pretty neat. I, I'm not sure if I'll use these very often, but I do like the fact that I have them here um, in case I want to. So uh, it was a package deal if I got both of them, then I got a little bit off, so that's why I ended up with that. Um, but I do hope you guys, if you do mixed media or you do, uh, I mean, anything wet, anything with Tim Holtz products, um, anything watercolor, etc., I would highly suggest get one of these mats. It's a nice work surface. Uh, this causes me to constantly clean off my desk because I want this space to be able to be used for creating. Um, I don't have to draw draw out my splat mats anymore and find space. And then I don't have to tape things to my wooden desk, which pulls the veneer off or whatever that cheap plastic stuff is on top. 
Um, I don't have to take things down to that anymore. This is just, it's a very nice surface to work from. So if you guys are interested in purchasing one or finding out more, um, be sure to visit my blog and uh, get some more information about that. In my blog, I'm also going to be, um, what's the word, uh, reviewing another product, which is the We Are Memory Keepers Laser. Um, I'm going to be uh, reviewing that as well. Sorry, guys, I'm a little frazzled on words. I'm going to be reviewing that as well. It will be in a separate video, so just go to my blog click on that and you'll see the other video as well but um these are the two products i wanted to review this month and i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know if you guys want to see any other products reviewed thanks